everybody. What's going on? Scandalous Bob here. A little Golf of Omen Conquest, not Conquest, it's all on Battlefield 3. Uh, so, yeah, I uh, got on the other night and uh, played some Battlefield 3, hoping to catch up with my buddy Swifty. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my, my buddy Dr. Rob, who I now call Dr. B. Rob, and also Finkleton, who has not made the transition over to Xbox and continues to play uh, PlayStation. Now, check this out. That was a heck of a move come driving backwards like that um uh, i thought i would take him out with the the javelin uh i disabled it but uh he had other plans for me so i had to hightail it out of there so yeah um my buddy swifty is not making the transition to modern warfare 3 he was a big fan of modern warfare 2 um he kind of liked black ops but there was a lot of times he and i'd get on and the two of us would have grunting matches basically uh because some of the the silly stuff you'd see and uh last night was one of those nights where i got on and uh you know you, you can't have perfect matches every night um but last night after about six straight matches of just complete and utter uh silliness um, I kind of did a speed test and found out I was only getting half the internet that uh, I was supposed to. Uh, so I, ba I backed out and just started putting these together. So I'm trying to run up here, take A. I can hear shots going off. I'm trying to figure out where the guy's coming from. There he is. A91. Caught him while he was jumping. So uh, this was kind of neat. Uh, the night that I played this, uh, there was a guy on there. Uh, Great Numbers, I think is his uh, tag. And uh, I think he and I were the only two that really were using their mics. Um, on this match, he was spending a lot of time up in the construction area. Um, I was trying to stay more towards the vehicles. If you've watched any of my other Battlefield 3 videos, excuse me, you know that I like to be in a vehicle. The other thing I like to do is I like to run the mortars. On this one, it was a little open to run the mortars. I think that if you do, you leave yourself open to a uh, helicopter attack. Um, when I first got in this match, there was a lot of BTR-90s, and man, they were schooling me. I thought for sure this is going to be one of those matches where, you know, went real negative. Uh, but, you know, we turned it around. Um, like I said, myself and great numbers were doing a lot of uh, communications between each other. And this is another thing. Check this guy out. So... Uh, dudes in jeeps were like everywhere now it's it's a pretty good tactic but i i recommend that you run two people in a jeep because they're quick to get in they're hard to spot and then boom you're out so uh capturing points uh it's a lot easier with a jeep now if you roll in with a tank it does take a little while to to roll that uh tank turret around um so a jeep can get you in there uh very quick now i knew somebody was over here at b at veterans retreat uh, so I was trying to take my time to go in there because you can see it's a choke point. And I didn't want to get hit by either building with a bunch of guys with uh, RPGs. Um, so took a shot over there. I was going to take a shot in on this building. Um, I, I think that um, uh, you're going to see a slow motion squish. Now check this out. Do not run at a tank by yourself. Check it out. Squawk. You gotta love it, and, and I and you know nothing gives me more uh, pleasure when I'm in a tank when a guy tries to take me out with like a handgun or you know any kind of rifle other than C4 RPGs that kind of stuff. Uh, this guy here, not sure what his tactic was. Um, I wouldn't have gotten in the jeep, uh, but anyways, hey, you made the highlights, right? So um, yeah, I, I stuck into uh, the tanks for a little while. Um, drive them if I could. And, you know, I find a lot of times that when I'm driving a tank that, you know, generally I'm in there by myself. A lot of guys will get in and they'll run the 50 cal. But if I'm not in the heat of the battle, I guess, they bail. And, like, right now I could really use somebody as a, uh, a secondary gunner because I'm trying to capture B. Um, you know, I get a little more armor to protect me from uh, snipers. You can see here in a little bit where... I try to take A back after we lose it, <clears throat> and uh, I can hear rounds going off, and I'm in the middle of trying to capture A, and I stick my head around the corner, and I get popped. I mean, long range. The guy gets me from the construction zone. Um, and here we go again. Here's a, another Jeep. Um, I don't know what he did there. He, he bailed. Um, still got him. So, hey, you made the highlights as well. But so the, the guy stays up in the construction zone. Which, if, you ever, if you've ever played this, a lot of people go into that construction zone. Because you can get up on top. 
Um, I tried crawling up there and I couldn't do it. Um, so what you see a lot of is guys will fly helicopters over and jump in or they'll take um, airplanes. Um, that guy there, uh, not sure if he saw me. <laughs> so here you can kind of see that the guys were up there and I was hoping to get this guy with a tank round. But, uh, you know, team members get out there with a helicopter and they, you know, lay waste to this guy. Um, anyways, here on the Gulf of Ullman, um, I played CQ and I played CQ Assault. Um, I have not played uh, Team Deathmatch or Squad Team Deathmatch. So there's a T90. Uh, get a hit on it. I thought I had the guided shell, so I was waiting to get the lock on. Um, I believe that I had the canister out. And that was one of the things I was I was trying to get to was that when I'm by myself, I'll run the canister round. Um, you know, it's it's so hard to hit a guy with a tank round when he's really, really close. So that tungsten, uh, 1,000 tungsten rounds is, uh, you know, kind of helpful. So I'm trying to get out here. And what I'm not paying attention to is on the map there in the, the lower left corner, you're going to see a guy running. He doesn't see me, and apparently I never see him. I'm, you know, trying to lock on one of these these uh, BTRs, um, get a shot off on this guy. I'm moving around, and the guy wound up sneaking in behind me and uh, and get me. So, you know, kudos to him. He got me. Uh, spawns me right here in the middle. Um, great numbers. He's screaming, somebody's taken, uh, you know, Charlie. Um, so I was able to, you know, holler out, hey, I got him. So that was kind of nice. When you can spawn in, there's a bad guy right there. So here, um, I see a tank going by. I see he's got one or two. So I'm going to jump in. Um, I have unlocked the CTIV station, which is good if you have guided shells. Um, I've also used it sometimes when there's a lot of aircraft. If you're going to be sitting for a little bit, that um, it's nice to kind of put it on the aircraft because you'll see that they'll start to take evasive uh, maneuvers to get away from the, the lock-on. They don't know whether it's a javelin. They don't know whether it's a stinger. Um, the only thing they know is you got a lock on. I'm also trying to do my part up here is a 50 cal gunner, uh, keeping him clear. Uh, driver jumps out. He's trying to do a little repair. So I didn't, you know, I didn't want him to get. It. We wound up like running over a couple of mines. He had to jump out again. Uh, <laughs> but you know, it was all good. It was all good. Um, and I was trying to communicate with him, but I don't think that he had his uh, headset turned on. So, uh, you know, here I am in the CITV station, uh, trying to get a lock on any vehicles. Um, you know, always trying to hit that back button to do a tag. Got myself promoted, so I was pretty happy. So here you, here you see the CITV station when you are doing the FLIR. Come around the corner, here's a guy standing in the middle of the road. I mean, how many 50 cal rounds does it take on a person? My goodness. Of course, I zoomed out because it was a little hard to hit him when I was zoomed in. Now, this is one of those points right here in the construction zone that has a lot of activity. So, you know, I'm trying to do my part. Guys are edging up. I'm running the 50 cal. I see the guys over there on the, on the left. But, you know, when you don't have communications with the driver, it's hard. I think he bailed to do some repairs. I was trying to wait, and that RPG was just a little too fast. So here I'm going to jump in, um, try to take A back run in um i hear something that there's somebody in there this guy is sitting there in the jeep and check this out he's just kind of sitting there where he died looks like he's still alive i wasn't sure uh you can hear some of those sniper rounds going around and this is the one I'm, i was telling you about that uh sniper round goes by uh l96 i think it is so i try to get down almost got a i start you know trying to crawl out and I, I bet you that my uh, underbarrel flashlight kind of gave me away. So there he is. And uh, I, I wasn't exactly sure where he was, but I wasn't going to let him pop me again. So uh, I'm going to respawn back all of Fort uh, there at position A. And I'm going to try to take A. And I think as I go around the corner, I happen to see, you know, tank pop in Abrams. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to jump in this puppy and, uh, you know, He's not going to be able to get me with the uh, the sniper rifle. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you know, zoom in. Trying to hit the back button. Trying to see if I see anything. Um, I got a, uh, a guy running my 50 cal right now, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Shooting in. There's a lot of guys. You can kind of see them there on the left uh, running in for the construction area. Um, trying to move in a little bit. Maybe I can get a tag. Um, so, uh, somebody tagged him. I'm going to zoom in. 
first round a little high but you can see his scope um, second round right on the money so I was pretty happy with that I, I tell you what sniper versus tank I'm pretty sure the tanks gonna win every single time um, but you know the match is getting ready to wrap up here in a second trying to move in looks like nobody was really aggressing a so uh, I was gonna start moving in um, this guy running right there I was hoping to get him hoping to get him oh but my gunner got him so you know that's fine with me so like I said I want to give a shout out to my buddy uh, Dr. B Ron uh, he's a big Battlefield 3 fan he's a PC player not good with his hands when it comes to the game consoles uh, my buddy Swifty um, who really uh, keeps me motivated to play Battlefield 3 along with Dr. B Rob uh, Finkelton uh, is just a Finkelton you know, <laughs> he's a he's a PlayStation 3 kind of guy. Uh, although we did go to his buddy's house and we play some uh, Xbox Modern Warfare 3 back in November. Uh, and he 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 stopped me pretty good. We were playing some private matches, but you know it was all it was all fun. Um, so, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, do me a favor if you're gonna leave me a comment, make it something I can understand. If you got a negative comment, tell me how I can be better. Cause uh, I had a comment today that just said. Uh, really noob uh no idea what the hell that meant so uh if you're gonna leave me some kind of, some kind of criticism uh let me know how i can do better you know i'm um, i'm trying to get my views up I'm trying to keep everybody happy and if you're not telling me uh whether i'm doing a good job and you're just leaving uh one line comments i have no idea and i you know i'm not really gonna listen to it uh so anyways uh thanks for watching uh come back uh i got another battlefield 3 coming out I got some videos where I was on the other team and it seemed like my buddies were getting final kills on me every single match. So I got to put that out for them because uh, I got to give a big shout out to all the guys. Uh, big Mac, Jimmy, TZ, uh, Reboot, Zero Aries and uh, Evil Aries, his wife. Uh, so thanks again for watching and uh, keep coming back. Keep checking it out and let me know what you think. All right. Thanks a lot. This is Scandalous Bob. Bye bye.